Hello, you are welcome to the third part of creating database on render and then linking it to your web application. And in the previous couple of tutorial, we created uh, the database on render, the three tiers, and we got the connection string and we use SQLite to try to connect that. Um, so previously, we tried to uh, connect to the database from uh, our Node.js server and it was breaking and throwing us some exception requesting for some ssl so for you to skip that you just need to add this as part of your um, sqlize um, connection whenever you're trying to connect to the database where you put uh, so the dialect here should be postgres not sklite um, so let me put that um, quickly dialect is postgres and i don't need to put um, i don't need to add this storage on my uh, connection string I'm not using SQLite so the dialect should be Postgres and then you need to put in this um, dialect option and you have to add this um, SSL required true and then this uh, reject uh, authorized um, false for you to connect to your database uh, from the Node.js application because that is um, needed in your connection parameter and once you have that then you can then try to sync into your database and then you get you are wait for the you you, you handle the promise of the connection um, response and then if there's an error that then you can also manage that and see that on the cat block on your um, on your um, on your code snippet so um, now let's me try to start my node application and launch our server let's see if it's successfully connected at the moment to sqlize uh, and postgres database on render so um, the command is node the name of the file is app.js and then once i hit on enter we can see um, uh, our our server is currently started but the database is not connected yet and uh, let's give it some couple of um, seconds and currently we have our database connected we, uh, this message is coming from a success connection um, string now currently our database is hosted and we can make the push the post the patch and every of the crud um, operation into our database at the moment so quickly uh, let me create a model uh, using um, the sqlize um, orm and so i said we'll be having everything here on the same on the same line let me collapse this so We'll have some uh, more space and you can you can at the same time just go ahead and just immediately after creating the new sqlize uh, method then you can go ahead and just sync it directly you don't need to uh, give it um, another variable name or uh, another parameter and this still work fine uh, but in most cases i i usually have the the um, my connection string in a file and then I'm just trying to uh, instantiate that here in my app file. That's why I'm having it this way, and this works pretty well as well. So, um, SQLize is connected, and let me collapse this and create a model um, for um, my data. So, um, and that is what we'll be doing in the next video tutorial, and we'll make the post request, the get request, and read all of the information from our data. So, thank you for sticking around. See you in the next video.